Hey, what is going on, guys? Today we're doing a comparison review on the Players Kai Final Fantasy XV Noctis. So here are both versions that they made, and I've got to say I'm so excited to make this video for you guys because I've been wanting to make this review for such a long time. I've had this 30th anniversary Noctis since 2020, and I'm so excited to finally show you guys the differences on both of these figures. So here's a look at both versions that Players Kai ever made on Noctis. We have the first version that they made which is technically the ultimate collector's edition of the figure, but is pretty much the exact same as the standard edition that they made. And here we have the 30th anniversary Noctis, which is a much, much different figure. So first up, let's take a look at the packaging. So here we have the packaging for the Ultimate Collector's Edition Noctis. It's a lot different from the packaging of a standard Player's Kai figure. As you guys can see, it's also like a lot thinner, it feels a lot uh, weaker in material. But here's a look at the fronts and the sides and the back. It's a, you know, a very plain design, nothing too special. And here we have the packaging for the uh, 30th Anniversary Noctis. Now the only difference between the packaging on the 30th Anniversary Noctis and the standard edition is this little stick right here. So um, if you guys want to pick up this 30th anniversary Noctis with the updated head sculpt, this is what you need to look out for. You need to look out for the sticker right here, which is the only difference to distinguish between both of these figures. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Apart from that, it's pretty hard to tell what, uh, what figure you're going to get. But anyhow, here's a look at the sides and the back of the packaging. We have a little showcase of the other figures in the line. I do plan to review the other figures. I mean, these are such old figures, but uh, it's better late than never to review these figures. So uh, here's a look at the insides of the packaging. We have some text here. So um, if you guys want to read this, then by all means, feel free to pause and read. I hope the uh, quality is clear enough for you guys to see that. And here's a look at the inside of the packaging with the figure and all the accessories. So as for the Ultimate Collector's Edition Noctis, we have the figure itself and the engine blade on his back. And down here we have the spear, a couple of pairs of hands, and the player's kai stands. And as for the uh, 30th anniversary Noctis, it's pretty much the same. We have a couple pairs of hands, two blades, the figure itself, and the player's kai stands. So yeah, not a great deal of accessories. I mean, the sculpting and the paintwork isn't too bad, but the main issue is that it just doesn't look like Noctis. Whereas the 30th anniversary Noctis, it's actually got a pretty good likeness to how Noctis looked in the game, at least in my opinion. But I mean, the paint job is pretty good. You can see the eyes are painted blue in there. And there's even some nice silver wash in the hairpiece. But I just think the hairpiece on the 30th anniversary looks a lot more natural. And there's more, you know, more highlights in the hairpiece. Whereas this is mainly painted black, which makes it look very flat. And moving down here to the body of the figure. And we have a bunch of these skull patterns in the shirt piece. And the jacket with all these pockets and zips and whatnots, which of course cannot open up. And moving on here to the uh, to the arms, and we have these trademark super exposed double ball hinge joints for the elbows. And moving down here to the trouser piece, and the knees and the boots. And so moving on to the 30th anniversary Noctis, and just take a look at this head sculpt. I mean, this is such a nice head sculpt. It's such a big difference. It's kind of crazy to think that this was, you know, the first release of Noctis. This head sculpt looks so bad in comparison. This is probably one of my favorite Player's Kai figures ever made, and it's probably one of the best Player's Kai figures ever made, for that matter. It's also got such a nice paint job in the hairpiece. There was quite a big difference. I mean, they've given it a much more matte finish, whereas the first version looked a lot more, I would say, almost wet, like glossy, which I don't really like. So yeah, I think this one looks way, way better. I mean, once again, it's pretty much the same as the first version, but I just think maybe the sculpting and the paint job is a bit more updated on this 30th anniversary Noctis. But for the most part, it is the same sculpt. And moving down here to the trouser piece, we have all these silver buttons and pins sculpted in there, which look really nice. And down here, we have the boots. And from the back, the figures pretty much look identical. I mean, there's no difference here at all. 
You couldn't even tell any difference apart from maybe the paint job on the back of the hairpiece. But um, yeah, for the most part, they're pretty much the same figure from the back. But anyhow, let's take a little close up. So here we have the first version of Noctis with the uh, engine blade. Just such a cool design. I just love the design of all the weapons in this game. But anyhow, here's a look at the sword on the back of the 30th anniversary Noctis. The sword of the Allfather, which is such a cool design. I love this blade so much. And there's a look at the back of the figure. We once again have some more skull symbols on the clothing. And we have a nice profile of the face. I mean, look at the sculpt in here on the 30th anniversary. It just looks way better. So much more accurate to the game. And even the skin tone, it's a lot more pale compared to the standard version, which looks a lot more tanned. Which isn't how he looked in the game. He was very pale. So I just think the 30th looks way, way better once again. And just a quick look at the sides of the figure in case you guys want to check out any differences that you may pick up. So now, one thing about these Play Arts Kai Noctis figures, which always seemed to bug me, is the fact that the figure is so buff. I mean, he's way too jacked, which he didn't look like this in the game, so I don't know why Play Arts Kai made the figure like this. Yeah, that's just one thing that I always really disliked about this figure, and he shouldn't look like this, because in the game, he was pretty thin. I mean, he was a pretty slim guy, but in the figure, they just made him super jacked, and it just does not look right. But overall, I do like the figure, especially the 30th anniversary. But I just really cannot wait for the upcoming 1-6 scale game Toys Noctis. I mean, that is going to be such a great figure. But Player Kai figures have just become so expensive, it's kind of crazy. And they're really not worth this price anymore. But it seems like they still have the same quality from like 10 years ago. Which, you know, for today's standard, just isn't good enough. Especially when they're charging double or triple the price. I was lucky enough that I picked them up back when they were first released at retail price. But I would not want to spend over the retail price for these figures, because the truth is, they're just not worth it. So I just hope Player Sky figures have better quality control in the future. So let's take a look at the articulation for the figure. So now, the articulation is the same on both of these Noctis figures. So this is the 30th anniversary, so um, the articulation on this figure is the same as the first version. So let's take a look at what we have here. So we have a ball joint in the headpiece, a ball joint at the neck, we have ball hinge joints, at the shoulders, the elbows, and the wrists. So inside the torso piece, inside the chest, we have a ball joint in there. And we also have a ball joint at the waist. We have ball ratchet joints at the, uh, at the hips. And these are pretty loud joints, as usual with uh, players' Kai figures. So we don't have a swivel inside the thigh, which is a bit of a shame. We have a double hinge joint at the knee. And we don't have any swivels here at the ankle piece, which is once again a bit of a shame. But we do have a ball hinge joint at the um, at the base of the foot. And there's a I guess there's a look at the um, bottom of the uh, of the sole of the foot, just in case you guys want to see that. Even the bottom is painted red, which is a pretty nice touch. So that was a quick comparison on um, both of the Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy 15 Noctis figures, and just a quick look at my entire Play Arts Kai. Final Fantasy XV figure collection. So sadly, I don't display the first version of Noctis because there's really no need to when we have this 30th anniversary Noctis, which is a much better figure. And then, yeah, just a quick look at the uh, other figures in the line, which I do plan to review next, which I hope you guys will look forward to. So anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will have a lot more videos on the way. So if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell notification. Have a great day, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy, guys.